Over the years, people have been manufacturing glass for more than just windows. In fact, there's a Jacksonville company that has pioneered unique and creative uses of glass. Lee and Cates is a uh, we're a full service glass company that uh, provides automobile glass, residential, commercial, um, new and replacement glass. Uh, we do contract glazing. Um, we do. Uh, tabletops, shower enclosures, we do mirrors for mirrored walls, we do custom framing of mirrors, we do uh, custom tub and shower enclosures, we do uh, um, uh, just about anything that pertains to automobile, residential, or commercial glass. Now that's a lot of different types of glass. How does Lee and Kate's keep up with the demand for all that variety? We have 19 retail stores. And so that's who we, in our manufacturing facility, then we have a division that does just uh, the new construction contract glazing. And so we've got really good people in a lot of good places, and that's what, that's what makes it happen, the right people in the right places. Tom, earlier we were talking about car windshields. Tell me again how drivers in Florida can get their cracked or broken windshields replaced for free? Yeah, the, the state of Florida has a, has a law that uh, there is no deductible on your windshield. If you have Florida-based comprehensive coverage, then the windshield is replaced at no cost to you through your insurance company. You set it up with the insurance company. We, we handle all that paperwork. We do it. We, we make a call for you or with you. And then uh, the insurance company handles the call. And they, uh, then we take care of the installation, bill the insurance company direct electronically, and then uh, they pay us electronically. So it's all done through, uh, through computers, and, and we, we handle everything, make it as easy as possible for the individual. There's a standard in the industry, and we meet or exceed that standard with all of our installations. So, uh, it's a safety issue, and that's what the state. Uh, that's why the state would pass that. There's only about seven states in the country that have that law, though. People's use of glass has certainly evolved. What changes and improvements have you seen since your first day of business? We've seen the evolution of glass. Been here since 1926. Um, like I say, started as auto glass, and we've evolved into the flat glass world. Uh, which is your residential replacement for insulated glass and you know all these fogged up windows you have in your house that's something we do so we see that evolving and used to you didn't have but one piece of glass in that opening and now it's gone to insulated glass which is two parts sealed together um, which is almost all the new windows and all the new homes have that now so if that fogs up then we replace those or we uh, uh, you know get a ball thrown through it then we, we take care of that too. So. Functional and decorative are terms you can apply to glass manufacturing today. It's obvious here that Lee and Kate's can take raw glass material and make it not only functional, but decorative too, right? And, that, and that's one of the things that we've really, uh, it's the fun part of the business because we can get creative. We can do a lot of different things with it. And you can do frameless, so you can have just glass with a couple of few hinges and a, and a handle on there that makes it look like there is no frame around it. You can put a frame around the top, the bottom. You can do as much as you want, and we can, that's the fun part about it, is we can be very creative. But as far as the evolution, yeah, mirrors have, have evolved into where years ago you had a black edge issue. Now we seal the edges. Now there's a new silver ring on the back that keeps it from, from silt from going bad in, in our climate. You know, the salt air climate at the beach used to be a very serious issue when it came to mirrors because it would take the backing off. And now there's ways we seal that where there comes with guarantees that we didn't have 25 years ago, 20 years ago. Uh, all your patio doors are tempered glass now for safety issues. When we were children, that uh, you could, if it broke, it broke into huge shards, and now it's tempered, so it breaks into million little pieces. But currently, we we temper our own glass here. We have our own our own manufacturing facility, and where we temper our own glass, we we make our own insulated units here. Uh, we also fabricate bevel glass for bevel tabletops and uh, bevel mirrors, anything like that. We bevel it ourselves. We do the edge work, and we we custom design all of our tub and shower closures. Well, we've evolved to that too, where the heavy glass, you, all of shower enclosures were quarter inch glass. Now you can get them in half inch, three eighths, uh, and even heavier if you want heavier shower doors. So we, we do all of that cutting, fabricating, and tempering of those shower doors ourselves. So we, we control everything as much as possible from, from we buy truckloads of flat glass and then we turn it into whatever it needs to be. There's a lot of precision modern technology at work here, and your employees exercise some of that precision too in the way they work. They all seem to be at ease handling large raw glass material, filling those custom orders for customers everywhere. 
What would you say is the best thing about Lee and Cates? The, the best thing about Lee and Cates is we've got 82 years in the, in the marketplace. The markets where, you know, we go to Tallahassee and we're down in Daytona and we go up into two in South Georgia. And I think just letting the public know that we're, we're here to stay and we're here to um, hopefully educate them in what they need, uh, give them what they need. That's probably our biggest thing that we want people to know, that we, we care about them as a customer and we care about our folks that work with us. We have, we have a lot of longevity in our business and a lot of, you know, I'm a third generation. I have a fourth generation son in the business and we've got, we've got third and fourth generations of folks that aren't related to us in the business. We have some managers that are third generation. Their grandfather started a certain location for us and now they're running that location. So, so it's a lot, of, a lot of family history in it, so we take that very, very seriously. So that's probably the best thing about our company is the fact that we, we just feel like our, the relationships we have within our company are really strong too. So.